celebration, love, and joy. Let everybody say amen. amen. What a beautiful audience is here today for the home going of Sister Bertha E. Jones. Let's hear a hearty amen. 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 Would you join me in our order of service that is printed for you in our order of program today? And we're going to stick with the program as printed according to the family request. We'll have appointed service, a spirited service, a day of memory, a day of fellowship, in a day of memorial. Shall we pray? Here we are, Lord. Your creatures, your creation, reminded that you are with us always. Yes. In this experience today, as we share in this last janitorial rite and presence with this, our sister, we pray, dear God, that you will refresh us where there is pain and anger due to yes. the separation of death. We pray that you will console us. We are definitely open, dear God, to know that you are present with us. So breathe on us, breath of God, and fill us with life that is anew, that we love what you love and do what you would do. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. As you still yet remain extending, beloved, I would that you would make use of the church hymnal. The church hymnal. We are in the church, and we thank God for the Spotswood African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. Join me in song 560. 560 in your hymnals. Let's raise one verse and let's sing the chorus twice of song 560 in your hymnal. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that would be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing, we'll shout victory. Song 560, let's sing that first verse, and let's sing that chorus. And if any of you don't know how to sing, that's all right. Just hum. It'll all work out after a while. Oh, sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions, this bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place when we all, when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be, that will be when we all, when we Jesus, we will sing. And it's like I can hear Bertha say, put those books down and put your hands together a little better for me. When we all, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be, that will be. When we all, when we all see one more time, we'll sing and shout the victory. Oh, when we all, when we all get to heaven, get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that would be, that would be, when we all see. The victory. Clap your hands on one good place. Let's bless this family. Let's bless ourselves. You did bless. Our service, the reading of the Holy Scriptures, as found in the Word of God. The 23rd Psalm. The 23rd Psalm says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside.
beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. And my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And the people of God say amen. amen. The New Testament scripture by way of the first book of Corinthians, the 13th chapter. And immediately after the hearing of the scripture, we'll be led into our prayer of comfort by the Reverend Wesley Delavan, executive minister, assistant to the pastor, here at the Spotswood in his eye church. Hear these words from God, so much, from the weekend and the Lord. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become found in grass or a plain in the And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge. And though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I be so all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long in this time. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not talked up. Does not be angry. Does not seek its own. It's not provoked or think no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, endure all things. Love never fails. For where there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will see. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know. Just as I also am known. And now, abide in faith, hope, love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. So let us look to the Lord. Spirit of the living God. Fall fresh upon us. Most gracious and eternal Father, it's once more and again that we come calling on that name that is above every name. That name of Jesus. That name that comforts. That name that in times like these we have an anchor that we can hold on to. Lord, we thank you for Sister Joan's life. We thank you for her legacy. We thank you for the time that you
to allow her to come this way. But now, Lord, if tears are flowing and hearts are heavy, Lord, you promised when you went away that you would send a comforter. So now, Lord, we pray that you would send your Holy Spirit to comfort this family. We pray now that they would feel your presence all the more in the absence of their loved one, that they would know that earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot hear. Lord, we thank you for Sister Joan's life. We thank you for everything that she has meant to us. But now we thank you for eternal rest, where there is no more pain, where there is no more sickness, and every day is Sunday. Lord, we pray that whatever is said and done in this place will be pleasing in your sight. That it might comfort the family to know that yes, we may pay a bill for a night, but thank God, joy comes in the morning. So, Lord, we stand at your door, asking that you would come in and that you would anoint us again. Touch the man's servant that will bring four words of comfort to this family today. That they might be words of life, power, and inspiration that would remind this family that in the days that yet lie in here, that they can make it because you are with them. Lord, we thank you for that. We bless you and we adore you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Denise Todd, solo.
the majority of the family and friends. The family has received a lot of calls, acknowledgement, and prayers during this time of bereavement. I would just like to read a few that were sent in. To the family of Brother Daniel from Tennessee, the Lord is near to the broken heart and save the crushed spirit. May you find comfort in the memory that you are prepared to follow. Just in the compassion of those who carry loss and peace in the promise that life is everlasting. You are many thoughts and prayer. For the dying Baptist Church, Board of Trustees, and also the Women's Workers Ministry in Waterbury, Connecticut. I'm sure you'll next that. What a beautiful tribute to your mother. I'm sorry for your loss. Our thoughts and prayers are with you, Daryl Parker and Zanthi. As you remember your mom, dear Daniel and family, when you think of your mom, I'm sure you remember the little thing, a favorite food of the New Year's scent, of the love family tradition. Every little thing, each sweet memory, will go to your heart forever. With sympathy, love, on Oxygen, and family. The Jones family wishes to acknowledge all the acts of kindness during our time of bereavement. We express our deepest gratitude and appreciate each all the warm, heartfelt support and prayers. May God bless you and please continue to keep us in your prayers during this time. A very special thank you to the staff of the Reverend General Hospital of Fifth Floor for their help and special care. At this time, we just take a few minutes to just look at your program and to read the obituary family. Be welcome to sing in your solo from her life if she's here at the position. Uh, but nevertheless, I've been given indication after hearing Sister Denise talk that uh, you'd like to hear one more time. Would you come and sing another song and immediately after that? I'll say something about Jesus.
same thing. No matter what we have faced in our lives in the past or what we're facing right now, we have a God who's with us. We're in a healthy hour. The family asks, and I praise God for them for asking me and allowing me to come and to serve as the sermon and the preacher for you today. They ask that we do not make this a burdensome experience. We're here to be with you in this service today. So I say that to ask if you would just, in the beginning of my sermon, just give a hearty amen right now. Amen. Yeah. That was so good, I think we could do seven minutes to heaven today. One thing, stay with me, it's, I pray for you, and you pray for me. For those of you who know Bertha Jones, raise your hand. Let me see those who really knew Bertha. You got allowance. I'm already on second base, stay with me. You got allowance right now, on the count of three, you can come up with just one word that's safe for a church. One word that's safe for a church. Just one word that would express your memory and what you know and what you knew about Bertha Jones. Just one word. One, two, three. Will you do it? I'm looking forward to when I was able to drive from Bridgeport to see her daughter and mostly to see her. Her daughter, better known as Mushi. Gave Rev a call and asked me to come and see mom. And I walked into the room. We met her in her space, where she was and how she felt at that time. And just in a few moments of eye contact and awakening her, she was so full of light. And she was so full of love. Life and love. It seemed like in her personal life and her Kool-Aid. Can y'all hear me out there? She never lost her life. She never lost her love. And I want you to just say that to the family. She looked up and gave me a greeting, a greeting that I still feel, I still feel warm on the inside because of that personal greeting she gave me. I want to say as I come off third base to go on the third base today, come off of second to go to third base today, that there are some things that death cannot take away from you. Death cannot take away your memory. Death cannot take away uh, the time. Death cannot take away the family. Death cannot take away the love. Somebody say love. Love goes beyond time and space. Love is the substance of God's grace. How many here today will forever remember Bertha Jones' face? We're going to prepare to see her at the end of the race. Three things, three Christian facts, three Christian certainties. I just want to read them for you. And thank you so very much for hearing the word of God. Let me say this as a reminder today. That everything is changing around us. Style change. Car change. I haven't seen some of you whose faces I'm looking upon. I haven't seen you in over 15 or 20 years. And I laid eyes on Sister Bertha a few weeks ago. It was more than 10 or 15 years that she and I had seen each other. Last time she saw me, I was probably wide open. Somebody can go. But I'm so glad to serve a God that would uh, blow you up. He'll walk with you. Can I have a witness? Can you confess that you are not the same person you was 10 years ago? Somebody ought to say thank you, Jesus. And God is not through with none of us yet. And uh, today I just want to remind you that uh, even though things are changing, look at my hat, amen, things change, but I'm so glad that we have some constant things that don't change. And that's three 
facts, researching things. I just want to drop on you real quick. Amen. I don't want to plant it in your soil. I just want to give you a seed. And I want to ask you to take that seed with you and you do what you want to do with it. You want to drop it in some good soil? Drop it. You want to drop it on some rocky soil later on? Drop it. The one thing about the word of God, it's not going to return void. Wherever it touch, something's going to come up. Can I get a witness? Second Timothy 1 and 12 says, uh, I know. Let me hear you say, I know. I know him who I have believed. And I am persuaded that he is able to guard them against that day. Let me hear you say, I know. Romans the 8th chapter and the 28th verse is another certainty. Three facts, three certainties. The first one was, I know uh -huh, in whom I believe. Brother, believe in God. You know, you don't have to come to church to believe in God. I'll say it one more time. You don't have to come to church to believe in God. Uh -huh, I know a lot of church folk. Amen. We call them saints on Sundays, but they ain't on Mondays. <laughs> and the way they act Monday through Saturday, it looks like they don't believe. <laughs> but uh, I know there's some folk here today who may not have come to church every Sunday or every Sabbath, but you believe. Do you believe? I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I believe that, that uh, the darkest of night, a candle will glow. I'm a believer. The second text says, uh, certainty here, I know. Let me say, I know. I know that to them that love God, all things will work together for good. You know, uh, we all go through hell. Can y'all hear me out there? I just want to make sure the mic was working. You know, you don't have to die to go to hell. We go through hell every day. God wants me to tell you that he did not make hell for you. And he did not make hell for me. That's why you want to get right with God. And you ought to do it now. You ought to get into heaven right here on earth. When Jesus taught us to pray. I'm through now. He says, uh, Jesus teach me to pray. And Jesus said, pray. Thy will be done. Right here. Somebody say, right here. Right here on earth. I don't want to wait till I get to heaven to start loving my sister. I don't want to wait till I get to heaven to act a little better. I don't want to wait till I get to heaven to say some prayers. I don't want to wait till I get to heaven to get along with everybody. I'm going to start right now. And the last thing, three certainties. The first one said, I know. Let me say, I know. In whom I believe. That's what Bertha wants you to leave with there today. If you want to tell somebody something, tell them I know. I know who I believe in. The second thing Bertha will want you to know today, she said, know um, that all things work together for good. She looked at me in that hospital. She may not have had the perfect recall. But one thing she had for sure, she had a knowledge that I'm all right. Gucci was trying to tell her mama such and such and such and such. And she'll look at Gucci like, what you talking about? And uh, after a while, I had to slow Gucci down because somehow, mm, God had Bertha locked in his bosom. She didn't know about the trial. She didn't remember about the dark room. She didn't remember. And let me ask you a question. Is there anybody here who will confess that your soul looks back and wonder how you made it over? Has he 
brought you through the very days. And he brought you through the up and down. And he brought you through the sick days. You want to say, thank you, Jesus. You want to have a little bit of a say, thank you, Lord. And when somebody in your last week is driving in your car, and a car cut you off, you could have been dead and gone. But God sent his angels. You want to say, thank you, Lord. Dad knows. She said, I know that my early house of this tabernacle is going to be dissolved. She said, but I got a home. I got a home that God made me hands. Oh, glory to God. Family, I want to come in here. We're going to our seat now. I hope I kept it. I kept my assignment. We started at 11 o'clock. It's just 11.35. The quickest girl in the Lord knew where it's history. But Lord knows it is a good one. Because somebody say, I know. I know that. But it's all right. She thinks it's the Lord. I know. Yeah, Lord. Soon and very soon. Yeah. 